Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, this is going to be a newborn essentials video. Um, but before we get started, I just wanted to address some uh, drama. Let me get this out of the frame. <laughs> um, I just wanted to address like a little bit of drama, which honestly, I don't even want to call it drama. And I can't believe I have to do this. And I've only been making videos for two weeks. It's not what I want this to be about at all. Um, but... Some people have sent me some screenshots and I just want to address something. So my channel is t t only because I want to make videos. I have wanted to start a YouTube channel literally since high school, since I discovered YouTube. And um, these are the kind of videos that I've always loved. I, even before Liam was even a thought or an idea or anything, in high school, I loved watching these videos, literally mom videos, because I've always wanted to be a mom, and it's just something that has always interested me, and it's just something I love to watch, and I love to talk about, and I love to hear about. So, that being said, I know the videos on my channel are copycat videos, but I don't even know what that means, because every video, unless you're Jeffree Star or freaking Shane Dawson... Your videos aren't original like your videos have been done before it's like that's what YouTube is it's about being inspired by other youtubers and you know building off of their videos and enjoying enjoying life like that's what it's about if you enjoy making videos make videos I'm not judging anyone else for anything and I don't want to be judged either that's not what it's about so that being said this is the first and last time I'm going to address that drama on my channel, and if you have a problem with it, I don't want to hear it, I don't want to see it, and I just let it be, okay? Let's just go ahead and get started with the video. Um, these essentials are going to be uh, stuff that we really, really loved. Um, basically, like, things we, we could live without, but it made it super, super easy for us. Um, these things are not necessarily... Um, these things are things that we loved. Okay, Meadow, you said that. Ma'am, what you doing over there, bug? So these things are things that you can get m from multiple different brands. These are just the specific ones that we liked and we enjoyed for certain reasons, and I'll explain that um, as I get to them. So I'm just going to start out with, um, let's see, I'll just grab things because I have them all in a pile. So the first thing I have here is, this is a um, Swaddle Me, Swaddle Me Swaddle? Eh, I don't know exactly what it's called. I'll link everything down below like I always do. Um, I probably won't be able to find the exact same pat patterns or anything, but I can usually find things that are fairly similar. So this is a Swaddle Me Swaddle. When Liam was born, we were only able to swaddle him in regular swaddles for like the first few hours. He was a strong baby. He didn't, he didn't not like to be swaddled. It's just that he liked to break out of his swaddle. So these were a lifesaver because he slept so much better when he was swaddled. So basically what this is, is it's Velcro. Um, so you just stuff your little baby in there like that. You lay him in there and then these... I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can figure it out. You just cross this over the front and then Velcro it together. Um, and you can do it as tight or loose as you want. It holds their little arms in there and Liam slept super well. Um, now, we were only able to use these for, well, first of all, this is the like newborn size. So we only use these for like a month. Um, actually less than that, probably like a couple weeks. Um, and then we had to get the next size up. And we were only able to use it until he was about two and a half months old because that's when he started rolling over. And you can't swaddle your baby, obviously, when they're rolling over because they could suffocate or all that. Um, the next thing we have is um, a burp cloth. This one is one that I like in particular. This is by Aiden and I. Um, it actually doubles as a uh, bib as well. It goes like that. Um, and then it has a little snap. Um, but I really like these because they're actually super thick. They did a really good job of, you know, wiping things up. They didn't get super, um, you know, like wet super fast. And they're really big. Love those. And <laughs> Liam's right over here, uh, if you can hear him in the background. He's just playing. Um, another thing is these are 
swaddle blankets. Now, we didn't use these necessarily for swaddling Liam, as I just said. Um, this is also by Aiden and Anai. It's just a cute little monkey print. What we used these for was when Liam was like a newborn newborn um, and he didn't sleep. Uh, I guess he slept through the night, but like I had a C-section, so um, I was in bed all day. Like I didn't really get out of bed to like, I didn't want to have to get out of bed to like go take him to his changing table. So we would just lay this down on the bed like that and then lay him on it. That way, you know, we didn't end up getting anything on the bed and having to wash all of the sheets and everything like that. So that's what we use those for. We also use them as like burp cloth. Um, they're super handy. Um, next I have these, this is just an example of a toy. Um, I think it was super, super helpful, still is super, super helpful to have a toy for him to play with in the car seat. My kid is, I mean, I'm sure everyone says this, but he's very intelligent. He needs to be stimulated. Like he needs something to play with, to look at. And looking at the seat of a car is not very exciting. So we had to have toys for him in his car seat so he didn't freak out. Um, on that topic, we also love having a pacifier clip. I talked about this in my, um, what was it? My diaper bag video with my diaper bag. We use the pacifier clip to clip his pacifier to like his strap on his car seat. That way, if we're in the front seat and we're driving, we don't have to pull over to find his pacifier. Um, we can just reach back and I know exactly where it's clipped, grab the clip, find the pacifier, put it in his mouth. Um, he actually is getting a little bit better at being able to grab the pacifier and put it in his mouth himself. So that's good too. So next I have, um, this is baby Avino, well Avino baby daily moisture lotion. Um, we did get the honest company, um, like gift set from, I think Johnny's sister-in-law, well, brother and sister-in-law. Um, but the lotion I didn't really like the lotion. We do still use um, the shampoo. We've repurchased that. But um, Liam did have a little bit of like baby eczema or not eczema, like just baby acne when he was newborn. So um, we needed a good lotion and I found that this one works really well. You need just some kind of lotion basically. That's why I put it in the video because their skin is like, you need to keep it moisturized. Okay, next, oh, kind of along those lines is baby aquaphor. This is amazing. I absolutely love it. Um, we use this on his baby acne as well. The baby acne on his face, we use this. We didn't really use the lotion. I mean, I think we did, but this is really what helped it. Um, we use this as like diaper cream now. It's so great. Liam hardly ever gets diaper rash. I don't know if that's just because he doesn't get it or if it's because of this, but we do put this on every single night when we put him in bed because he does sleep for 12 hours a night, so we don't want him getting a rash. Um, another thing is um, I actually used this when I got my tattoo. Um, I just got a tattoo recently um, and I used this instead of like, I, I don't even know what you're supposed to use, they just told me to use this and I used the baby one just because we already had it and it worked amazing, my tattoo looks great. So next uh, is these sleepers. So um, obviously sleepers should be on your list. Um, first of all, any kind of sleeper is just easier I know everyone wants to buy like the super cute outfits, which I am totally guilty of. I bought him a bunch of outfits and he did wear them, but just if you're just hanging out at home, which you do for most of the fir first few months, you want him to be comfortable, him or her, to be comfortable. And this is actually not a newborn size. This is the three to six month size that he just grew out of, if you saw my clothing haul. Oh, and speaking of my clothing haul, I finally found um, the this brand the um, Cloud Island brand in his size at Target and I picked up one set of three and then I ordered another set just in case you were wondering so like I said this is the Cloud Island brand now what I love about these especially when he was a newborn and he was sleeping in his bedside bassinet is the fact that when you put it on him you zip it down okay and then that means that you zip it only halfway up to change your diaper in the middle of the night it's really great I mean it's not a necessity but we loved it. It's and just these prints are so cute. Like, t look how cute this print is. I die. Okay, next. Next, I have the iBaby Baby Baby Monitor. Uh, where's the picture of it? I don't even know. Um, I wasn't gonna bring the actual monitor in because I didn't want to like you know unhook it and everything, and it's set up in his room. Um, 
So yeah, this is the iBaby Baby, Baby Monitor. What I love about this is you don't have like one of those little um, portable things that you have to carry around and like keep track of. It automatically connects to your phone. So to look at him or talk to him or anything, you just use an app on your phone and it's so, so, so easy to set this up. It took literally like less than 10 minutes, probably less than five minutes. Um, you just connect it to the Wi-Fi. Yeah, literally on here. Exceptionally easy installation, under 60 seconds. That's true. Um, the only thing about it is that you have to have really good Wi-Fi, which isn't a problem. We have really good Wi-Fi, so. Um, but I ha did read reviews about it not working as well if you didn't have Wi-Fi. So what it has is um, 1080 full HD. Uh, it has room air monitor, which is really nice. So it just monitors like the air quality. Um, it sends you alerts on your phone if any, you can set like the temperature range. So if it gets colder than your temperature that you want it to be, or if it gets hotter than the temperature, it'll send you a notification. You can also see on the screen on your phone, um, that the temperature, the air quality, and then the, um, Wi-Fi signal on, on the screen when you're looking at him. Um, it also does a really good, it gets a really good view of the room because it moves up and down and around plays music we don't really use that it's pretty cool though because we actually use another essential I'll just mention it now is um, we use an echo dot to play his like um, like white noise we actually use um, the echo dot that my dad bought for me Liam um, so we use that which is super nice because you just tell it tell it what you want it to play and it plays it so that's nice so yeah this is um, on Amazon. I'll link it down below. I believe we got it on sale for like a hundred dollars. It's usually like a hundred and twenty dollars, but it's for sure worth it. Um, 100% worth it. Okay, next I have a boppy pillow. This is amazing. I'm sure you've seen it on everyone else's video. Um, I loved mine when I was nursing, but I also, we loved it to just prop Liam up in. He loved 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 to be propped up um he did not love to be laying flat when he was first born uh he didn't have like acid reflux or anything like that he just liked to be you know in the conversation kind of a thing so that's really nice we don't really use it anymore so it's really is just a newborn newborn essential um because he sits up on his own uh and I do, i'm not nursing anymore so if i was nursing i would still use it but yeah so that's really nice Next, I have Liam's bath. So, we're obsessed with this bath. He loves it. It's super, super nice because it's not one that has, like, a uh, fabric liner. It's, like, a silicone liner. And it has holes in it, so the water just, like, comes through. It's super, like, bendable, like you can see. Um, it's super nice. It has this little hook, so you can hook it up on, like, a command strip in the bathroom. Um, we have a shelf that we put it on in the bathroom, but what we're moving, so I'll probably end up hanging it in his room or something. Um, the next thing I actually have with me right here is my, well, my Liam's sit me up seat. So right now I have it folded down, so it's, you can tell like it's super, super nice. Um, it stores easily, uh, and my friend actually recommended this to me, shout out Taylor. Um. Her son, I saw on Snapchat using it, and I was like, um, Liam needs that because he loved to sit up, and I didn't have anything that he could sit up in because he couldn't quite sit up in his, um, like, boppy, unassisted. And then, so it pops out like that, and then you just set it down. It has these little hooks for toys. It comes with toys. I took them off because he was playing with them on a different toy. Um, this little insert is completely removable and completely machine washable which is awesome because he did have one he had his very first blowout in this seat right after we bought it and we weren't even home we were in Missoula and it was amazing but my aunt was super sweet about it um she was really helpful she has a son of her own so yeah but yeah so it's super machine washable and awesome uh he loved this and the, the thing I like about this versus the uh, I think it's called the bumbo seat is uh, my son, like I've mentioned before, is a chunk. He's huge. His, there's no way that his legs would ever fit in the bumbo seat, ever. Um, so that's the first thing. Second thing is it has a much higher back, so he could sit in this much sooner than he would have been able to sit in a bumbo. So yeah, love that. 
And then there's just a few more things. I have them written down uh, that I can't really show on camera. So Liam, when he was born, slept in the Halo bassinet. Um, absolutely love it. It was amazing. It was so perfect. Um, I slept on this side of the bed and we would, we just had the bassinet next to me. So it was easy for me to grab him out of it. Um, cause I was nursing and also I'd had a C-section, so I didn't need to be getting up in and out of bed. What was nice about it is this, this side of it actually presses down just to make it extra easy for you to grab the baby out. Um, my grandma actually bought it for us as a baby shower gift. Um, and we did end up getting the more expensive version, um, that has like the music, uh, and like the vibrating and the, the light, which honestly, I'm kind of annoyed that we bought the most more expensive version because a, the batteries ran out extremely, extremely fast. Um, and we never ended up replacing them and B, the, we never used it. The light on it was nothing. Um, the music was like wasn't loud enough really it was muffled but other than that I absolutely loved it it swivels um so you can push it like push it around so that you can get out of the bed easier um I'll for sure link it down below I'll try to put a clip on the screen right now um and then it was just super easy to have it and uh Liam actually only slept in that again until he was about two and a half months old because he was rolling over and it was it, the sides weren't high enough for him to be sleeping in it anymore. Um, at that point, we moved into this house. So we had him in his pack and play. What's wrong, Bug? Buggy, can you look over here? Do you want to be in the video? Just a sec, guys. Let me grab him. Say hi, guys. Okay, so anyways, where was I? Um, I was talking about the Halo. Uh, yeah, so we moved him out of that, and at that point, we moved him into another essential, the Pack and Play, um, which was another baby shower gift that we had received. Um, and our Pack and Play in particular was amazing. Um, my parents' best friends um, bought that for us, uh, Bill and Michelle, and it had um, an infant insert, so... There was the pack and play, like I'm sure you guys know what that is, and then there's an insert that went into it so that it kind of lifted the bottom up, so, I mean, just like in a crib, how it goes up and down or whatever. So it had that, and I absolutely love that. Um, and it also came with a uh, attachable um, changing table as well as an attachable, attachable bouncer that served as like a bassinet, basically. So... I thought that would be totally awesome if we hadn't have had the bassinet, uh, like the Halo bassinet, we would have just used that and that would have been awesome. So I definitely recommend that. We do still use the pack and play for traveling or whatever. He's gonna crawl. He can see himself in the camera. He loves being on camera. Oh, a stroller. Um, I mean, a stroller is pretty obvious, but what I was gonna mention is that you have to get something that has like a car seat stroller compatible like click the click connect is what we have we have the Graco click connect it's amazing like I couldn't live without it we wouldn't be able to go anywhere I use it at the mall Target um like if I'm going to Target I don't they don't have the, the um carts that have the car seat holders which is so freaking weird I mean my Target doesn't anyway um so I have to take the stroller so that I can put his car seat in it because he can't sit up in a cart yet. Well, he probably could now, but you know, when he was a baby, he couldn't sit up in the um, cart. So what was I supposed to do with him? Put him in the, like his whole car seat in the, in the um, cart and then what? I can't buy anything. I mean, Johnny probably would have preferred that, but that is just not practical. So yeah, I definitely recommend getting um, like, the, I guess they're called travel sets. So, or travel systems. So yeah, definitely get one of those. Uh, what else? And I'll try to put pictures on the screen, um, and I'll, they'll for sure be, uh, linked down below. Um, what else? Oh, another thing, I can't even believe I forgot this. A baby swing! You have to have a baby swing! <laughs> um, Liam loves his swing, uh, he actually hated it at first, like for the first couple weeks, but then after that, it was one of the main places where he would nap. Um, 
he's still naps in it every now and then. We're trying to transi transition him to only napping in his crib. He does sleep in his crib every single night. Um, but usually for the last month, he had been waking up in the morning, um, having a bottle, and then immediately going down for a nap in his swing. Uh, he absolutely loved it. And we have a really nice one that swings forward and it swings sideways. So I'll definitely put in a clip of Liam in his swing. Um, for sure. And then the last thing I have on my list is, I, I don't even know what it's called, an extra saucer, a jumper, whatever. Um, basically anything where Liam can stand and be like contained. Um, I'll put in a clip of him because he's absolutely crazy in his, um, we're gonna get one that's more of like an actual jumper jumper, like with the like kind of cables or whatever. We just have, I think it's called an extra saucer where he just stands in it. Um, and there's toys and he loves that. He literally has been playing in it for two and a half hours until I just grabbed him out of it. He loves it. So anyways, guys, I think that's it for my video. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to do so. Um, I'm really trying to get some good content for you guys and I'm really trying to work on my editing. Um, so if you have any tips or tricks, let me know down below in the comments. If you guys have any newborn essentials that you, that I missed, uh, leave them in the comments. And if you have any essentials for five months old, I can't believe you're five months old, kid. You're huge. You're such a big boy. So yeah, if you have any comments or if you have any suggestions for five months old, five month olds, uh, leave them down below. Oh my goodness, I can't believe you're so old. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate all the support on my videos. Um, even when there's, you know, negativity, there's way more positivity on my channel. So, loving it. Can you say bye? We'll see you in our next video. Bye, guys. Oh, Liam, we need, we need to make a thumbnail. Bugger, look at the camera. Liam.